I have listened to this day, Aria. In the last MLP video I did, 34 seconds in, I said that I'd watched a couple of the seasons, so if there were songs that you thought I should have listened to that weren't in the video, that's why. And I always knew that people skipped through my intros, it's just a fact of YouTube videos. I didn't know how much that happened, because there was still a whole bunch of comments being angry I didn't listen to this day, Aria. So I thought I'd put it right at the start. In that video, I also found the music so intriguing and impressive, so you know that I'm keen today. Show me some iconic stuff. The first one is called Discord's Glass of Water. A little glass of water, please. A fresh pressed hanky if I sneeze. So I remember the context of Discord in like the first episode he was in. Why does it seem like they're babysitting him? Also, damn, he's flashing the lashes at them. And while I get a little rest, a teeny tiny... Oh my god. Okay, he's kind of adorable though. Fish oil for my chest. Is that a thing people do? People put fish oil on their chest? I've heard of fish oil tablets. God, who would want to rub fish oil on their chest, bruh? And then if you slept in that, it would get all on your sheets. I don't want no fish bed. I know that's not important for the actual song here, but it needed to be said. Also, it sounds like we're about to get some bars from Discord and I'm ready. I fear I've got the croup I need a van of pumpkin soup and skulls made out of zinnias. Is he sick or something? Why not give my aching tummy something soothing, something yummy piled up with noodles? Okay, so he is sick, but I'm honestly loving the delivery of the lyrics. It's got kind of a weird stop-start rhythm to it, but that definitely works for the character. And I am always a sucker for a rhyming scheme that just packs as many rhymes as possible into a short space of time. Anything else? I'll be grateful for your charity <laughs> Because I've heard the tenderness Is what you lend an ailing friend See the actual things he's saying aren't that bad It's just all in the delivery It's quite literally the difference between someone saying Oh don't worry you'll be alright I'll take good care of you And oh don't worry you'll be alright I'll take good care of you <laughs> I hate that I said that. I'd like that glass of water, please. A magic spell to cure disease. A firm person tooth when I sneeze. A fresh bouquet of roses. So I was actually sitting there waiting because they used the word roses to break up the existing rhyme. And I waited a second because after they went back to that rhyme, I was hoping that the next time they did one of those lines, it would also break it up with a rhyme that rhymed with roses. Never mind that it was the word toses. <laughs> Still just great composition. And then massage my knobby knees. A bowl of peas, some extra cheese. A couple with a pig. Cheese on peas? Bruh, what's this guy's diet? More and more and more and more of I can safely say that I don't think I'd ever hang out with someone that had a, a squeezy stress toy of me, let alone one that made my eyes bulge out like that. that tiny glass of water. Does the water mean something or is or or is my man just thirsty? Because I just can't help but feel like he's trying to trick them somehow. Like the water is actually just one of the infinity stones and he's trying to snap half of the world out of existence. That's what Discord's doing, right? Although I guess his powers are very, very similar to the reality stone. So Discord and Thanos team up. Oh, oh the world would end like that. Oh, I didn't even... <laughs> <laughs> Purely accidental, I swear. <laughs> the next song is called Flawless in brackets Fame and Misfortune. <laughs> Did one of the audience members throw a book? Listen to me! Listen to me! Sorry, does Twilight just have like sonic sound powers? I never claim to be perfect. My mistakes are all written in ink. Alright, full musical vibe, I'm here for it. And it's sad if that's what you all think. Our flaws have to make us special. Stop, it actually feels like a musical. I think I've said this about every single video I've ever done on any sort of cartoon or TV show, and that's that I love how all in creators go. There's no half measures, only full measures. Absolutely committing to the sound. Our flaws are what brought us together. So stop that's some like really it. nice note delivery. Excuse me, here's the thing. Both in Equestria Girls and the MLP videos I've done, there have been some incredible harmonies, so that doesn't quite surprise me. What is impressive though, is hearing a song manage to keep those harmonies kind of across the whole chorus so far, essentially, and not really have it feel contrived or anything, because sometimes it can feel like it's almost done for the sake of it and isn't actually really complimenting the sound, but that's not what's happening here. They sound great together. Oh, I didn't expect the melody to rise there. That was awesome. Why does this have such a like sway to it? Honest. 
that's a line that I didn't expect to hear in this. Now granted, I don't know all that much about MLP outside of the seasons I've watched, so I don't know exactly how in depth this is explored, but it is an interesting and important topic to think about how you can have too much of a good quality, like Applejack's just saying about how there's such a thing as being too honest. When I hear that, I immediately think of the like, I just tell it like it is kind of people, where what they're really doing is just like being a dick. <laughs> being honest and being blunt and rude are not synonymous, and knowing when to filter yourself and what will be constructive without being dishonest is really important, and I'm very glad to hear that addressed in a kid's show. That's such a lovely slide up altogether. It took me a while to be confident to really come out of my shell. The other wonderful aspect of this is talking about acknowledging and accepting your flaws without just dismissing them. I feel like that's something I see a lot in media where it's like, oh, I'm not perfect, but that's fine. I'm me, so deal with it. And obviously this varies depending on what the flaw is, but generally if you have flaws, you should kind of, you know, work on them, especially if they negatively impact other people. And I absolutely love that this song has them singing about how they've worked through some of their flaws, but they're still flawed, which is also important because it's all the journey. It's all an ongoing process. Oh, the really high harmonies were gorgeous. Yeah, oh my god, who's doing them high runs? What the hell? That was so pretty. I really liked that. From composition to execution to message, so here for that. I am just always so ecstatic and always blown away by the insane quality that we get from kids shows. I feel like it is a heavily underrated genre in general. I know I talked a hell of a lot about that last one, so let's move on to the next one. Light of your cutie mark. Cutie mark crusaders get out of my way. So despite how much I tore her to shreds in my last video, I still love her voice. It's gorgeous. Tiara, this is not the way. Oh, interesting harmonies. Do they all sing the same melody? It's kind of haunting. What my family would think if I ever fell at anything. Were they like friends briefly or something? And now she's like returning back to her old ways. Whatever I have to do to she's really like staying on that one note a lot, it's cool. There's something I just love about melodies that sort of revolve around one note and they'll often deviate slightly but come back to that. It's almost like this root homing beacon. We know you want friends who admire you. <laughs> Why is that visual so weird? Them running backwards. <laughs> Oh, they're trying to like gently persuade her. That's cool. So much more to oh, is this like, I feel like this might actually be around the time of the pony I want to be because it feels like it's touching on a whole bunch of similar themes to that one. There's not much left of this song, but I need to know, does she just go back to her old ways or does she even change? Let me know in the comments because I don't actually think I got clarity on that from the last one. And try another star. <laughs> what a visual. <laughs> God, she's, why is she terrified? Lol, <laughs> she just runs straight past. No second thoughts. Every pony, I have an announcement. Oh, cliffhanger. Wow. Okay, yeah, you'll need to tell me. I'm so curious. So I think it's a topic that I never shut up about and you know what? I have no plans to shut up about it. But harmonies, man. They're so good. And the way they're done in these songs is also fantastic. They're also not too imposing. I feel like they're used in just the right way and in just the right amount. The next one is called Luna's Future, A Hearth's Warming Tale. Oh, and oh my God, tale is spelled like, like T-A-I-L. Who are you? Can you not see the moon? Are you here to show me what future hearth's warming heaves are like? No. Who is this? I just realized I was like, oh, it's Twilight, but that that's not Twilight. Who are you? Imposter? As you wished. And what happens? I see a cold wind blow. Yes, give me a villain song. I see a future caused by you. The deep notes are so I see nice. A path not meant to be. That was a gorgeous rundown as well, so softly done. Dreams and wishes brought to life. 
There is way too much talent in this show, it's ridiculous. Hearing someone accomplish those nice rundowns in a way that sounds very full and wonderful, but also isn't this like big, chesty, almost belty voice, just makes me jealous because I'm not sure I'd be able to do that. Rest assured, after this video, I'll be trying a whole lot. Maybe I'll start singing this song. Matthew's cover coming soon. <laughs> Is there gonna be a higher note? Maybe. I could see it coming. Or a, or a low note? Oh. Windigos, they aren't real. That slide as well. Wonderful. And your actions will allow them to return. The future of Equestria shall be bathed in a blanket of eternal snow. Damn, that's ominous. Holy crap. That's kind of depressing, wasn't it? What the heck? I was anticipating kind of a nice winter Christmassy song. Not, uh, the world is going to end and it's all your fault. <laughs> but hey, I'm always down for a little bit of semi-evil ominous singing. Semi-evil and ominous is just how I live my life. It'll be my next music duo. Yo, I'm semi-evil and this is ominous and we're about to play you our newest song. I feel like it's becoming impossible for me to do these videos and not just gush. <laughs> but you know, somehow I just don't have a problem with that. The last one we're gonna listen to is called You'll Play Your Part. I think second to this day Aria, this was the most requested song in my last video. So y'all better believe that I'm keen and expecting quality. Oh, okay, it's gonna be sad, is it? Oh my god, she's so sad. It isn't that I'm ungrateful for all the things that I've earned. Is it gonna be like a full Twilight solo? I'm so keen of so. I don't know how to travel to a future that I can't see. Okay. Well, that's a really nice line, hot damn. Sorry, I'm just a little bit stunned. That's a fantastic line that just kind of made me more and more thoughtful the more I dwelled on it. I really like that. But it's still unclear to me just what I am meant to do. <laughs> I don't know why I find the visual kind of funny, but I like the idea of her just standing there singing to them while they're all just like, you doing okay, buddy? <laughs> I'm really liking the lyricism here because I feel like a common way that someone might approach this would be to have her sing about how lost she feels and really focus on that. Whereas the way this is doing it is having her sing about what she wants, which is a really great distinction because having her tell us what she's longing for gives us way more of an insight into her thought process. I know how hard it is to wait to spread her joy wings and soar. The messaging is just on point again because it feels like it's really dealing with the gray area. I think a lot of people have this really binary outlook on these sorts of things where they'll either feel like they have absolutely no clarity or they know exactly what they're doing. And there's a whole lot of middle ground there. And as you make choices and as you proceed, that slowly becomes clearer. But I don't really think that there's a point where you're just like, I have achieved enlightenment and I know exactly what I want at all times because life's not like that. It's inherently uncertain. Oh my god, speaking of harmonies. Wow, some of them are so high. That was gorgeous, what the heck? Okay. Whoever was singing there, that was beautiful. This escalated so quickly. Breathy high note? Sort of. Yo, that was so pretty. Legit, that just went from like a solo to a wonderful trio of vocal harmonies and melodies. Oh my goodness. Honestly, I don't think I have much else to say. I know I've talked so much in this video, but personally, I sincerely enjoy that when I film videos because it just means I'm really engaging with the content. And at the end of all this, the only thing I can say again is that I'm just blown away. Quality is ridiculous. Absolutely everything in, in all aspects of that was ridiculous. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to click that like button. And as always, have an awesome time until I see you next. See ya.